Okay, we're back here. I scrapped the whole 30 minutes or so episode. I'm pausing because otherwise they start talking. Because it uh, was just me trying to kill Dragomir, basically. He's in this room here. And, um, uh, I mean, we knew that uh, he could be um, vulnerable to magic, and he is. But um, it was never enough, so I had to sleep a couple of times and change spells a couple of times. Um, I gave a scroll to learn to Ari a, fles a flame arrow, I think. He really dislikes that, which is good. But then again, I, we had to sleep and then... Yeah, it was just a very boring episode with... Uh, I was constantly sleeping and changing spell. It was personally annoying, but that's what it is. And uh, it was very unimmersive. It completely destroyed my immersion. And I just want to get wanted to get rid of that episode. I mean, I have it, but it's pointless to upload it. It's just trial and error. And uh, another thing that was really going wrong... Well, I tried to make Jahira a bit more spell aggressive. And I gave her some... Uh, these spells are good. This... Um, cause critical wounds. And this one. And this one. But she was always miscasting them because you cannot aim them specifically and it was just a horrible waste i've given her flame blade but it doesn't seem to do much still it could be magical he it's fire so uh hopefully it doesn't really work i've already tried it but it's fine I, end up using it or not I mean um, Dragomir specifically specifically dislikes plus two not plus one <laughs> not a, plus two weapons I went and verified this because I've had enough so um, while Minsk Mace was doing uh, good damage or enough damage to shadow wolves and such little creatures that were roaming around here you need a plus two weapon to kill this guy. Uh, it, it's We have three plus two weapons. One is Sarevok Sword that now Minsk has equipped. Also Minsk has a spell right now equipped uh, as well. I gave him a spell. This one, Armor of Fate. He will need it in the front lines, I'm pretty sure. I don't know when, uh, it's probably w when the, that spell slot appeared, I don't know, maybe when he leveled up and I didn't check, or maybe it's because there is a difference when he's two-handed than when he's a mason shield, probably it has to do with the casting, I don't really know, but anyway, now he has a new spell. And he can use it. He uses it, so it's fine. The other weapon that we have that I was a bit mistaken about, it's the Grave Binder, and uh, Jeanne has it. The Grave Binder, I thought, was a weapon that worked good against undead, but not really. I think I was mistaken with another weapon from Baldur's Gate 1. And maybe I sold, or... Uh, I, well, I got mistaken right there. And the other one is the dagger that we found in this dungeon that really worked against him so I gave it to Hexat because she has a proficiency but she kept just dying so I have now given that dagger to Yoshimo and uh, Hexat is now ranged uh, so she can keep out of the fight and she's very she's, she's quite weak and she doesn't have nearly enough hit points so uh, Yoshimo seems to be a better choice. So yeah, there was a lot of reloading and... Uh, it, it's not wasted time, it's just not a worthy episode, in my opinion. So might as just might just as well... I could have cut piece, bits and pieces 
and edit but i don't really have time to edit that much of an episode so we also have uh, identify a protection against undead but it, it doesn't really i used tried to use it a couple of times but it didn't really work out so it let's be. go get this guy before but i ha have to do the usual things here so she's casting that and i always i i will use this flame sword flame blade it doesn't seem to work that one specifically doesn't seem to work and then everybody gets some haste i gave flame harrow jean has it i gave it to him as well yeah there was a lot of reloading and changing spell and sleeping because of course uh, you have to sleep every time to change your spell your spells it was really annoying personally and uh, uh, i was annoyed and also the episode was no it was it was a waste of time uh, pretty empty and it's it's not worth a day a, a daily episode it, it was not worth it so good riddance at the end of the day Consider it done. now you guys don't get stuck in the door because they tend to get stuck a bit in that door your blood is rather inviting okay so of course i've already had the dialogue with him i had this fight so many times that many times that i actually tried most of the options there are interesting directions in which the dialogue goes but he always ends up attacking you so they are meaningless it's it does remind me a bit of the werewolves fight so which one do i go with of course i'm jana I, I assure you i'm real why have you come to my tomb, Jean? <laughs> the sleeper must awake. Yeah, let's let's laugh about it. The sleeper must awake. You have come for Hexat. Yeah, she's here. Curse that woman. How does she continually draw you people in? Yeah, Hexat, she's with me already. It matters not. Like all the others, the only thing here for you is your doom okay <laughs> let's get to this doom a you need to cast your arrow maybe jean could cast his arrow too <laughs> yoshi <laughs> Come on, Minsk, you cast already, right? Is your flame blade gone, Jehira, already? Did you ever even cast it or something? <sighs> so much patience. I don't know, did she cast it? Did, did it go? So let's do, see. Okay, so see, she's positioning um, herself there. Let's see if... She's behind. Maybe I can hit him with something. Oh. Or not. <laughs> uh. Jean is still trying to cast. Still trying to cast. I see everybody is... Uh, I have four of these. It's incredible. I will do my Stop, Jean. Use the grave binder. Stop it. To battle and victory. Let's take those away. Are you confused? I 
I don't think he's confused, right? No, you're not confused. He's just panicking because he's not meant to be <laughs> in there, really. Is he now? <laughs> Poor guy. She didn't cast. Try this, please. <laughs> Come on, bait, Yoshimo, bait. Oh, she she didn't cast because she was she was prioritizing healing him. Well, he's done finally. Dragomir is dead. All right, Hexat, are you happy? Your grasp of the obvious is beyond reproach, girl. We're very close to where we need to be now. We must move forward. Fine. Is where the treasure lies? Forward? The treasure, yes. Mm. <laughs> She's so gonna betray us. We're very close now. Yes. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Take a fast pause. Really? So pick that up. I hope this is something. Cloak of Dragomir. This cloak was crafted and imbued with powerful undead magic by the necromancer Zulan Fass. While she was in the employ of the warlord Dragomir. Dragomir had been turned into turned to vampirism and not wanting to leave his previous life behind, demanded that Zulan craft a magical garment that would allow him to travel in the light of the sun without being destroyed. All right, useful for vampires. While Zulan was successful, the cloak severely dampened many of the vampiric abilities that Dragomir had come to enjoy. For this inconvenience, she was drained of her lifeblood by Dragomir and left to die. Allows a vampire to travel outside during the day. Oh yes, M major stat draining. Wearable only by vampires. I hope I can sell this. Minsk. I go. Oh, just that. I was expecting a little bit more. I mean, it's it. It's not uh, the most complicated boss, but if you, I mean, I'm a little bit uh, put out because you find Hexed in the inn where you have to go right at the beginning. Like everybody's telling you to go to this inn and you find several companions there and you find Hexed as well. And this is a little bit of a over... I feel like this quest should have happened later. I feel like we it it was above us as a fight. Not really, but I it didn't feel right. Isn't this a little Everyone. bit too much for a just go go it's ahead. So for a companion that you just found at the beginning of the game. Nature could find a home here if it were properly cleansed and balanced. Done. I don't know. As you wish. I don't even want to keep her, so... I'm a bit... Uh... What is this? Okay, nothing happens. As you ask. What was that about? Boom. We explode now. <laughs> yes, if it's required. Is there something in here? This is not a container. Hmm. 
Exit. What is my treasure? Is this Dragomir's tomb? Yes. We're right in it's it. It's all so hazy. Mm. There's nothing this way, right? It shall be. Not really. This guy doesn't have anything on himself. Maybe... Let's go talk to him. I mean, this quest is clearly timed, I suppose. Maybe not, but... Um, Hexat was, was insisting for us to go... to come in here and... Uh, Consider it done. Hello? There's nothing to say to me. I'm here. Huh? Mm. It shall be. There must be something here. Can't be like this. It doesn't seem like she's done. I mean, Hexet. Where Minsk goes, evil stands aside. Consider it done. What was this thing anyway? This colorful rainbow, <laughs> whatever. Rainbow. I don't know, there are no traps, no anything. Okay. The sleeper, she wakes. Mistress, I've done as you command. Please let me live. Forgive me, Clara. This is the only way. Hex it as well? Clara. Oh. oh. Fangs sink deep into Hexet's neck. Her eyes roll back into her head. And uh, I would have liked to read. Good to finally meet you. So she's exit, and the other girl was... Yeah, but the text here, okay, whatever. Um... Wish I could say the same, who are you? I am Hexat. Try and keep up. You're already annoying me. You just ate Hexet. Yeah, you just hate Hexet. Which rather inclines me to try and put you down. Yeah, the sleeper. I think sh I think real Hexet possessed fake Hexet or something. Why did, did they have the same name though? She merely borrowed my name. Yeah, who is she? A pawn in a game I've been playing a long, long time. Her sacrifice was unfortunate, but necessary. <laughs> I 
while yours is unnecessary, but will prove enjoyable. What gives you the right to make that decision, anyway? If we are going to work together, there's something you need to know about me. There is nothing I won't do to stay alive. Nothing. Do you understand? If we are not going to work together. <laughs> she looks gorgeous, but I'm having a strong dislike. <laughs> Yeah, I've got to say that doesn't exactly make working with you sound tremendously appealing. I'll make it worth your while. Two hours at the coronet. Oh. I will do my best. I thought Clara was interesting because. She piqued my interest, but the real Hexed, she's not that interesting. It, uh, Clara reminded me of... Um, I don't know if it's a movie or an um, animated story about the guy whose girlfriend dies and comes back as a zombie and he lives with her and she's a zombie or something. Very well. That's that's what she reminded me of. Poor Clara. She's gone then. I I don't want to pick her up. I don't care. I I'm going to the dwarf. Done. Where is it? Where is You're still here. Oh, you need that, don't you? Oh, Dragomir's cloak? Uh-huh, Jean's cloak now. Give it to me. We'd protect her in the world above, of course. She's a vampire, right? She's not a witch. She's a vampire. Well, of course, she ate the other poor... G I'm confused. <laughs> What's the magic word? Are you giving me anything in exchange? It's of no value to you. And? I'll be the judge of that. I have nothing of value. <laughs> then I guess it's not your lucky day. Well, knowledge is incredibly valuable. What do you want to know? What... What are you? Where did you come from? I, I, I also want to know about... That woman. Let's, well, she's dead now, so let's try to learn something about Hexet herself. So how did you come to be trapped in Dragomir's tomb? It was supposed to be a simple job. Break into a tomb, grab the guest of honor's helmet, and get out. Who gave you the job? I don't know his true name. He goes by L. Wait, you're telling me you work for L? The L? <laughs> yeah, you don't know his identity, but you still do his bidding. The L? The one from Death Note? Really? Okay, let's go for this one and try and... Let's see how she reacts. You know him? <laughs> no, <laughs> I cannot fake it. Oh, what a wasted opportunity. No, I don't. I've done countless jobs for L in the past. There hadn't, be, there hadn't been problems, not serious problems before this one.
The problems on this job got you killed and brought back to life, admittedly, but even still. Being turned into a vampire and imprisoned for years is no small thing. I'll be taking the matter up with El, believe me. Now the cloak. I think you're going to die. Because it, it, it's not... Um, I mean, I don't think Jeanne is capable of seeing the bigger picture here. I I perfectly know what she's doing, what she, where she's coming from. She's justifiable. But I think Jeanne is a little bit... Uh, uh, he's not a goody to shoes, but he's a bit pissed about the girl, about Clara, I think. It's not like he's uh, afraid of having a vampire uh, around, uh, you know, walking over or down here, uh, on the surface or down here. I think he he just wants her dead out of spite for um, Clara and not having had any treasure, really. Well, it stays with me. If that's how you want to play it. Mm hmm Well? You should have played your cards a little bit better. She has no loot, no anything. As you want. We're gonna sell that thing. That is gonna be my treasure. I was not gonna pick her up anyway. I don't know, is she a thief? Is she a sorceress? Hex the real Hexit? I don't know, I just... Um, it's better. It was an interesting story. But I don't think sh her character fits us right about now. We're gonna sell that thing. Maybe we manage to sell it. Even in the black market, I don't know. Yeah, Jeanne doesn't really care if any other vampire gets in possession of that uh, cloak. Okay, we need to get that out. It shall be. He just had a, a personal Consider grudge with Hexad. It was personal. Hmm? It shall be. I... I have been looking at the scars on my back the stumps that were that were once my wings they do not they do not make me truly homely do they am, am i am i ugly to you homely so okay which <sighs> I don't want to be rude, but I don't want to be in a romance with her at all. Like, why? You, you should improve your character before thinking about whether, whether you're ugly or not. You, 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 she's not Jean's kind of girl, I think. But I don't want to be rude. I don't want her to stop talking to me. But this is not the answer you want to give if you don't want to be... Yeah, I have no time for such things, really. You just... that's not what's important, alright? Vanity? I, I suppose it is. That and my silly pride. I'll, I'll not bother you with such nonsense again, Jean. Sorry, but... Consider it done. Wait, you? Excuse me, miss, but you would be named Ari, yes? The young elven lass that was Quail's apprentice in the circus? Well, yes, why? Has something happened to Uncle Quail? What is this about? Oh no, no, nothing happened to him, miss. He gave me a very good description of you, in fact, and asked me to track you down. He mentioned that you and your new companions may be able to help him out with something and asks... 
that you return to the circus to see him as soon as you can, miss. Uncle Quail needs my help, then we should go back to the circus. Oh, Jean, please, I couldn't bear the thought of him needing me and not being able to go, please. Well, I've done as I were asked, miss, so I really should be going. A good day to you all. <sighs> I will do my best. I wish... I wish there was more... Time in between quests, more... Maybe it's because I... I never saw much of the cities from the circus. Uh, maybe it's because I decided... Like oh, the dialogue doesn't stop. Maybe it's because I decided to... Yes. Have the tweak with more dialogue. I have a tweak that... Uh, I think increases the frequency of dialogue. Not the romances, but dialogue. Just dialogue, because... That's... Um, I want to have dialogue, but maybe it's a little bit too much. I don't know. I don't suppose this one is time, though. It, I don't feel the urgency that uh, Exat had. Very well. So you know what? Uh, I mean, I have slept so much already that this 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 hold should be already fallen. <laughs> I'm pretty sure of it. So what do we do? Uh, she's waiting uh, near on area, Nelia. She's waiting for us there. So maybe we should go definitely uh, and pick her up, and then leave her there, just for her mission. It feels like that this would be this quest would be timed a bit. 